you've heard in today's episode of Fall Guys, we are checking out the Bulletkin costume from Enter the Gungeon. Let's get started. So this is the Bulletkin costume, as I said before, from Enter the Gungeon, a really cool indie game. This was also part of some Devolver digital bundles, but all the other costumes in that I had already showcased, so we're just focusing on the little Bulletkin costume for this one. This is definitely one of the older costumes that has made its way back into the game, which is always great to see. If you want to see some of those other costumes, I've already showcased them, so you can always look back previously in the series. But what is our goal for today? I think we'll start things off with a solo show and start going a little bit more off the rails from there. Maybe more extreme solo shows, maybe a hexathon there are a ton of options. So Lily Leapers is our first round. Usually this is a second or third round, so hey, I'll gladly take it. Let's see how this goes. Keeping up with the competition. It's very nice that we start in the front because usually pretty often people end up getting in the way a little bit. So hopefully they don't, and hopefully I don't end up getting in my own way. But I wanna try to, oh no, oh no! I jumped a little too soon on that one. Whoops, that is not so good. It's okay though, I guess we'll just get our way over this way. As long as we're getting top 32, I think we can handle that. For sure, for sure. Oh no, if I fall over like that though, maybe not so much. Yeah, that's why I think going over to the side is a little bit quicker, usually. Ah, oh, and of course I bounced into somebody there. That was silly. So maybe we will struggle a little bit, but usually a lot of people get caught up right around this spot, I think. So as long as we can get through it without the crowd stomping us out, yeah, this is the one a lot of people have a hard time with. So we're gonna get over here. Dive to this, dive to that, and now we're moving, now we're moving. We got the final stretch here. I think we can handle it. Got it? Whoa, I of course had to bump into somebody, which really messed it all up. I don't know though, it's 15 out of 32 now. It's gonna be a little bit close. People are slowly but surely getting better at this minigame, I feel like, and it makes it so that the competition is pretty tough, but we're able to make it through, so that's good. Okay, our second round is Slime Climb, and I'm sort of uh, starting out in the back here. This is not so good. I think we'll just play it safe. We'll, okay, we'll, we'll just sort of stay in the back as long as I don't get pushed off to my doom. We'll be all right. That'll be good. There we go. I've seen some people try to jump up there. I don't quite know exactly when they jump, though. I think we're good with this, though. I, get, I don't mind sort of staying behind, not getting the best placement as long as we qualify. But that can be a bit tough. It is just so cool to see this costume though in action, be able to actually play with it because it's just one of them that I ended up missing back when the game was sort of newer. It's been around for a long time. Okay, ready and let's, okay, try to jump up there. Didn't really go my way. Maybe I could just go around this side and not get pushed off or bumped off by anyone. There we go, that's good. Some people still getting eliminated in the back. Just to be really careful with Dodging different stuff, and there we go, we're good. And one more, right there, cool, cool, cool. So. Go. One last little stretch, they're trying to grab me, I saw them reaching out, not gonna happen, we get through that one. Okay, Slime Climb has been climbed. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ooh, look at this, it looks like we got the Sonic the Hedgehog one. That is so cool. Once again, this one's really uncommon, so it's always really fun to see it. Oh no, ooh, oh it got up. Whoa, wasn't expecting that. Okay, so maybe we could loop around and get some of those extra rings. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, I really could have used those. We're at right, four out of 20 so far. We need to be top 14 to qualify though, which is where things can get pretty complicated, pretty challenging. Hopefully we can do it, but this person in front of me is grabbing all the rings. That's not what I want. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's my chance to at least grab two of them, or one, Never mind. Okay, yes, yeah, so far not going perfect, but I'm like to do something here. Oh, come on, come on. Jump, jump, dive. It didn't let me, come on, I really needed them. Okay, we're, we're gonna go somewhere else because I just think it's too crowded up there or something. Maybe we could find some better results somewhere else because you see, uh, these, never mind. Okay, well, they didn't hit all of them, so I can at least get three more there. We're at the 12 out of 20, so it's more than halfway through. Fantastic. You know what, I might, while they're jumping up there, snag these three. And then if I could just, yep, make the most of my time. I might have to, oh no. Oh, okay, they, they got enough to qualify and so did I. We got the share, that's great. Oh man. So they, that was a really close one, but still somehow we got top 50%. That's always a really enjoyable one, for sure. Okay, we're, we're splashing on with Blastle and Edson now. I think we can handle that. Not too many people left over though. 
five people remaining to knock out, so it might be a bit of a tough competition to actually find somebody to hit and send them flying, so we'll do what we can. Right now, these guys are mostly focused on, oh man, there goes one flying. I think that was because of my blast ball. Oh no, I guess you're here, so we'll see if that works. Maybe not quite soon enough or late enough, actually. Okay, so what I wanna do is try to just toss it like that, because I don't think they're really playing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now they definitely are. It's a blast ball rolling down this way, though. Because we just need to actually eliminate people with this one. Can't really play nice with it too much. Need one more blast ball to show up somewhere. Okay, we, we can just hit, get this one. Here you go, here you go. Oh, not quite. No, wait! Oh! <laughs> All right, I guess it's gonna be me who gets knocked out. Ah, oh, that stinks. It is just sort of the nature of the game, though. We still get some more stuff, though. We'll get 120 kudos for completing, earning at least a bronze medal. We need to reach round two in one more show to get a little bit more there. But there's, you know, other rewards slowly stacking up. They'll be able to get the rewards from soon. So that's nice. Uh, okay, well, let's keep going. I think we'll do another solo show round before we do anything else. Okay, well, the first round for this one, we have the Whirly Gig. So let's just try to get ahead of the competition for this one. Oh man, jump over those a little bit. I think that if we jump at just the right time, yeah, like that would get knocked a little bit forward. It's, it's not a huge time save, but it's a little bit of something. And then I'll try to get to dive up here to save some extra. And now we're getting closer to the front of the pack. That's always good to see. Well, this part does concern me a little bit, but we're able to make it through. That knocks me over. Yikes, whoa, okay. This, part, this part's actually pretty tough. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's just go wide for a second. That's fine, that's fine. Can we make it through the center though? I sure hope so. Ow, uh, maybe? Sorta, no, come on. Come on, that was so silly. All right, we'll try one more time, but if not, we'll just try from the side. The only problem with that is it gets a little concerning on it if we actually make it. Uh, but I can make that jump. That's always a pretty big one to make. Wait, do you get a checkpoint for that, right? Yep, there it is. Okay, a few people have qualified, but nothing too worrying. There we go. Lots more people are going through, but we'll, we'll get an okay placement. Yeah, not like top 50% or anything, but enough for us to get to round two. Okay, we got Slime Climb again. If we can win it once, right, we, we can win it again. I guess we didn't necessarily win. We If we can qualify from it once, we can qualify from it again, as long as the stampede behind us doesn't knock us over too badly. But as we're racing through this one, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Bulletkin costume? Is this one you've been able to get yourself yet? Is the one you've been waiting for? And also, what are your thoughts on Enter the Gungeon? Is it a game you've played? I'd love to hear. It's a game I've played a little bit of. I know that there's some pretty big fans of it. But it came out a good while ago, I know. I, I definitely wasn't very good at that game, but what I remember it was a lot of fun. Okay, we're almost there, almost there. I should just be able to jump up here. There we go. Just don't fall off. Don't be silly here. There we go. Then I might just get this to push me. I don't know if it's gonna help me catch up too much. It definitely didn't hinder. Oh no. Uh, don't grab me, don't do it. I see what you're trying to do. I, I have no interest in that. I'm gonna wait for this one actually. There we go. And I should be fine with sneaking through those. Yep, there we go. That was good. Oh no, ooh, ooh, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I think only one other person is qualified. Maybe we got like a second place here? Hard to tell, but it should still be a pretty decent placement, so I'll gladly take that one too. So far, we're gonna go with the Vulcan. Like I said, I think it's a great costume. It's very simple, but so is the character design, so yeah, great to see that I finally got the chance to get it. Okay, we got Jump Club coming up next. Oh boy, we just gotta jump and survive. I love it when people just find a way to balance on top of it. I don't know if that's like a visual glitch or what. I'm, oh no, you can stand though. Wow, what do you know? Interesting, I've never really tried. I guess you can't stay on there for super long. Eventually the speed picks up and you fall off, but they're lasting a good while. Very impressive, very impressive. Well, let's not get too carried away with it. So we definitely want to just make sure we don't get eliminated here. I don't need to experiment with this one very much. I know the deal, you know, you jump over the bar when it comes over here so it doesn't knock you off. Already four people have been knocked off, so if we just make sure we're not the last one, we don't fly off like a speeding bullet, we'll be okay. There we go, we survived. So we're back to another final round. That's good. Well, did we have a final round earlier? I guess we didn't. Well, now we do. So let's see if we can't win this one. I feel like this has been one of the more successful ones for us, so here's hoping we can get another one. Another victory. Okay, so yeah, we'll go over here real quick. 
It always is so slow to start, but that's okay. We'll just bounce back and forth between it until we get a little more momentum. Maybe a couple people fall off. This one, you almost always have to play a bit rough. You have to start grabbing people before they start grabbing you, but we'll wait and see. We'll play nice for now as everybody's just trying to survive. Equip some different taunts that I feel like we haven't seen in a while. Just to mix it up a little bit. That's always fun. So I feel like I have quite a lot of taunts at this point. Obviously can't equip them all. That would be cool. I wish that they had just a random button that would just randomly select one of your taunts. Cause I feel like that would just sort of mix it up in a fun way. Okay, so we'll go down here. Still not a single person eliminated, but usually when they fall, they start to fall fast. So we'll see if that happens soon. But I feel like slowly but surely, we're, we're sort of checking off all the older costumes that were on the list of things that I miss, you know, especially for the older video game crossover kind of costumes. You know, things like the My Friend Pedro one and uh, the Sonic ones, I think I originally missed when they first came by, but I was able to get them again. So, you know, this cool thing is like that. I'm glad that we're finally able to get some of those older costumes and they're cycling their way back. Try my best not to miss any opportunities with any of them, of course. Okay, we're just gonna switch over now. Three people have been eliminated. Uh oh, uh oh, ooh, that was a scary one. This is where it can get pretty intense from where we might just wanna switch over every time that there's even a conceivable chance for it. Ooh, two more people out, right? Or maybe that was just one. Yeah, okay. Three other people to compete with here. Get a little bit of a breather. It always gives you that for some reason. Just like little spots where it resets. Okay, we're fine. Whoa, okay, maybe not the best timing. Ah, so scary, so scary. Here it is, here it is. There's just not a lot of room to move around. My thing is that I just never try to jump if I don't need to, because I feel like just people will grab you and you'll fall. Getting another reset. All right, here we go, here we go. And one more person has been knocked out and make that too. Ah, that stinks, but it looks like it just ended after. So not the best moves by me, but that's fine. Definitely a fun round to get through. We got two solo shows under our belt now, so I think with that, we'll move over to some different things. We get some daily challenges done, redrawn to in any show, so 4,000 battle pass points right there is always nice to earn at. I might take a look at what other um, quests we might be able to do right now, but we get 500 kudos for reaching level 84, and we're chipping towards level 85 too. And we get enough to get a full crown there, so that's great, we've done it, we've reached level uh, 21, giving us the first part of the Bean Bot costume. Great to see it, great to see it. So with that done, let's see what other shows and other things we can accomplish. Okay, so we're back to another show. Remember, if we fall off on this one, we're done for. But I still might play it a little bit risky at times. We'll see if people try to grab me and stuff. I feel like that happens a lot on this map specifically. I don't trust it. I will trust it. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, no, no, they still did it. Who even? They were not close enough to grab me. That was crazy. Oh my goodness, I didn't see when they were close to me at all. That's where I guess just, you know, internet connection. You really don't know, but just, geez, I was trying to play it safe there and they still are just able to get me. Okay, well, we'll try again. Now we have Party Promenade axed. And with this one, I don't think there's too many places where people will try to grab me. That's the one risk you have starting out in front is if you don't get too far, there's always somebody behind you willing to grab you. It's just sort of the nature of this game. We're right next to the costume that this costume was bundled with most recently, did they? The Gato Roboto costume. We've already showcased that one, so I didn't want to showcase it again. I'll try my best to fall into the yellow pipe. Ooh, that was perfect. That's just a little bit farther ahead, which is always great. We need more. I don't know how some people were able to land out of that pipe. Balloons are always a little bit hit and miss on whether we actually get through it. Some people are getting eliminated already, so we'll just see where we end up. Oh, oh, that was good. That might be the best I've ever taken that one. I wish I could have gotten to the pipe a little bit more easily, but we're definitely closer to the front now than we were before. Oh no, now it's sort of falling apart, but it's okay. I think I'll have to wait for the next one. But we got it, so that's good. And then I wanna jump to the right. And just keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Will there be enough room for me? Luckily there will be, just barely. Ooh, it is some tough competition. Oh, and I couldn't quite get high enough for that. Oh man, uh, uh, no way! I went way faster than you normally go there. Why do I also get the worst luck in the extreme versions? I don't know, that usually never happens normally. This is tough. 
All right then, so we got Tundra Run again. I put the last time we here, we did get eliminated last episode. That was pretty rough. Oh, got strawberries and blueberries falling down. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> people not gonna be over. But let's just try not to do that this time then. Oh boy, this is pretty messy. Uh, got it, got it. And I think I might just wanna go down below this time and avoid some of the crowd, which I feel like always is a headache just with how many people there are there. Now this is where I got through just fine. It was it was the final jump that we got hit on, but you know what, I think we'll go this way. I don't get this way too often, and I feel like it is safer as long as you don't really get too mixed up with the ice. And these usually just send us backwards. They don't send us off the map exactly, so I think we'll be fine there. This is the spot where it gets a little scary, because you can just very, very easily get knocked too far here or bump into those and then you're out. Whoa, okay, come on, we got it. All right, that's much better than last episode then, great. Wow, slime climb for the third time in one episode. Don't know if we've ever experienced that on just a normal episode like this. Like obviously the mini games or the shows where it's one mini game over and over again, but never one is just like this, right? Usually not too often, at the least. So that's pretty neat. We're just gonna climb to the top. We've made it through the first two times we, we, we played Slime Climb in today's episode. I don't think it'd be any different in the third, but you never know. Well, there is like little jump panels on this one, but the platforms or the, the, the walls aren't really moving too much. So I guess it's a give and take for the variants here. I always love it when these kind of mini games do have variants, because we've played them so many times, especially something like Slime Climb came out with the very beginning of the game years ago, so just having anything that really changes it is cool. I would really like to get up here, so I think I'm just gonna go the long way around because that's just not working for me, and sometimes you just gotta recognize that and move on. Ooh, that person jumped up and grabbed it. Okay, how do they end up over here though? <laughs> I guess the ha hammer hit them. So can you just, you can't grab, that's so interesting, because you can't grab this, you know? You can't grab that ledge. So why could you grab that one? It looked like they grabbed it. Okay, we're not getting a first place finish. Not the end of the world, uh-oh. Oh no, don't do this to me, don't, come on guys, come on, come on, be nice. Oh, the ball's bouncing back, no! <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna go along the edge like this. There's no way it's gonna get me from here, right? Okay, got it, got it, got it. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Oh man, that was scary. All right, see ya. <laughs> Jeez, that was so mean, but we found a way through, so it's fine. Next up is Skyline Stumble. This one was one that we actually survived, so hopefully the same will be the case for this one, but there's not too many people left. It definitely chopped a lot of the competition down with the previous slime climb. But you know what, I think we can make it. I think we can do a good job here, right? Here's hoping as long as we don't get, uh-oh, nailed by fruit or uh, this peg. Okay, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Okay, I think I'll, yeah, wait for it to switch and then we run. And I think with what the goal, ow, no! <laughs> I was gonna say stay more towards the inside, but that didn't work for us. I mean, there's obviously not too much I can do there to avoid it. It's just a tough situation. I think we have enough time. Whoa, we got a bunch of stuff there. I didn't even see what it was. We got 15,000 battle pass points, some toothsome faceplate, or faceplate, as well as the toothsome color. I think we're coming up on a costume here soon. Level 87 is our next goal. Hopefully we can get there soon. That was a great reward. Okay, awesome. So taking a look at what might be close to being finished, qualify from round two or any higher, or higher than any show, and earn medals in round two. A lot of round two stuff today. So you know what, let's do a few more things. I think we'll focus on maybe squads? I feel like squads could be pretty easy. Or actually no, let's do a hexathon. We haven't done a hexathon yet, let's give that a try. Okay, so our first one is just gonna be hexagon. I don't think it'll be hexagon every time because there's different kind of like hex mini games. So we'll just have to wait and see. Obviously, if these get a little bit crazier than your average hexagon with only six people who need to be eliminated, it isn't too bad to get to round two. But qualifying beyond that is our goal for right now with all of our current missions. So let's see how that goes. Oh, I jumped a little too far on that one. That's fine now. Oh no, oh no. Going back, going back. We bumped into each other. That accomplished how much? Okay. One person is already out for the count though. I think just being able to stay up here for a good bit though should really help us out. I'm going to try to, okay, that didn't work out too well. Uh, no, ooh, okay, I got three of them at once. Wow, more people are falling off as we have that last layer below us. And I'm just trying to be not the next one. There we go, we got it. So we're on the round two with this one. So yep, it's not gonna be a repeat. Round two is gonna be Hexerang. 
We can survive this one, I think. We cannot survive the competition. We can put some good work in here. Only five people need to be eliminated. Some of them are already getting knocked over, so we have a good chance. None of them quite being eliminated. Oh wait, just yet, there's our first one. And then maybe a few more falling through the cracks here. As long as we can just keep up with the hex ring. Get to round three. Everything beyond that, you know, obviously, would be great to focus on, but I'm mostly just interested in getting those quests on. Those will give us the most source of battle pass rewards, and obviously that's something I'm trying to do my best with. We have to get to level 200 in the battle pass to get everything, and I'd like to be able to do that legitimately if I can. So there we go, that should be getting a couple of extra things done for us. Very nice. Okay, so we have a... Uh, this is not Hexa Ring. I forget what this one's called, but it's okay. We, Hexa Terrestrial, that's what it's called. As long as we can survive this one, this might be the final round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like it is the final round. See, so this would be neat to get through if we could win this one. Haven't won a show in a little bit, so I would just love the opportunity. Usually, the, you know, the Hex based minigames can be a lot of fun, but also very stressful. I feel like out of all of them, the one I don't get very often is the Fall Mountain final minigame. I sort of wish we saw that one a little more commonly, just because it was one of the first final rounds, if not the first one, and I feel like, at least for me, it's still what I think of when I think of Fall Guys final round, is climbing to the top of the mountain and grabbing the crown. That was such like a huge thing, and I just don't see that one too often, so I, I hope it does make a little bit more of a comeback at some point. Okay, so three people have been knocked out for this one, so we still have a lot more to survive, but I think we're doing a pretty good job. I've only been running into too many of them. Okay, I'll go this way then. There's a bunch going on. <laughs> Lots of players just still trying to survive. This is where the, the hexagons sort of are slower to pop back up. I'm definitely focused on walk, walking on the ones that are going to be sort of covered by the wall anyways. That way the rest of them are sort of saved for us later. Oh no, we're all on top of each other right now! No way! Oh man, oh man, how did I survive that one? We won! Wow! That was absolute last second jumping there for some of that kind of stuff. Really crazy, but glad we could get it. What a victory! Fantastic, we're getting launched up by the Kraken. Okay, really, really cool. Our summary is coming up here, so I don't know if we'll quite get, no, we, we, we do get a lot of it done. Awesome, so we get 23,400 battle pass points, so even more than last time. We'll jump up a few levels for sure with that. So let's see exactly what we got. We get three golden medals, getting us 24,423 battle pass points. We get a crown, um, we get 100 show books for getting level 87. 88 is gonna give us the Keen Angler nickname. Level 89 gets us the Dark Maul costume bottom piece and almost at level 90 where we'll get the top half of that costume as well. We're making more crown progress as well. As you can see with this one, we're getting closer. We still need a ton more, but soon enough we'll be at level 22 to get a new nameplate. Amazing stuff, we did great in today's episode. Obviously, there's still more we could do. Most of it's just running 30,000 views. I never really get around to completing that one. That's like the, the most grindiest one. <laughs> Maybe soon though, maybe soon. Obviously there's some other things here that we're waiting for, completing marathon challenges uh, are slowly getting there, but it, just, it takes a lot of time. Soon though, for sure. With that being said, that is the Bullkin costume. I really enjoyed it, but definitely let me know your thoughts. Have you gotten this costume? Do you plan on getting it? And have you played Enter the Gungeon before? But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.